Our intent through the laboratory and the center is to produce multidisciplinary, well-rounded leaders that will impact the financial systems, uh, the global financial systems. So our students are not only exposed to the quantitative aspects of the financial industry, but also the technology aspects, the socio-technical aspects, and the regulatory aspects. It is truly a socio-technical system and, and our intent through this laboratory and our academic programs and our research, frankly, is to give that well-rounded experience to our undergraduate and our graduate students. This lab isn't meant to be a place where people learn how to trade, right? That's, that's not the purpose of this lab. This lab is really meant to do serious systems research on the financial system. It's going to be a great place for learning, outside lecturers to come in, research. Really, the lab is going to be a, a collaborative place, a place for collaboration between uh, research, education, the private sector, and the government sector. This is a little unique here in that we're not only taking a standard sort of investment, Wall Street banking, trading lab approach, but we're also taking a systems approach, more of an engineering type approach. Of course, our cybersecurity program as well is going to be in this lab. Uh, we believe with the, in the mission of the, the Financial Systems Laboratory, the Financial Systems Center, which is empowering Stevens, the up-and-coming Stevens students to hit the industry, the financial services industry, with a deep technology base as the industry continues to electronify. The intent is for us to not only look at the classical domains and disciplines of financial engineering and finance, but also look at the ecosystem that surrounds it the technology ecosystem, the regulatory ecosystem. And so we believe that by hosting not only our financial engineering programs, but our software engineering, systems engineering, as well as our cybersecurity programs in this space, we're going to give our students a much more well-rounded experience. It actually teaches the students about financial software engineering and the financial cybersecurity. Uh, and those are new fields that are at the interface of different disciplines. So this is really a unique edge that uh, we give to our students, to our graduates at the undergraduate level and the graduate level. The Financial Systems Center is a half a mile away from the financial capital of the world. No one has the perspective of financial systems that Stevens can have. It's beautifully situated, it's, it's easy to get to. Quantitative finance, financial engineering was a natural for Stevens, particularly being right across the river from Wall Street and we needed a fantastic lab to support it, so that's what this is. You know, we have 50 of the Fortune 500 companies are headquartered in Manhattan. 200 of the Fortune 1000 companies are headquartered within about an hour and a half drive of here. So for internships, for you know, full-time employment after college, uh, for the richness of the uh, assets that we can bring on campus, speakers, and we can bring Nobel laureates, we can bring uh, Wall Street's uh, finest. We can bring the, the Federal Reserve, the SEC. These are, these are available to uh, add to the extracurricular richness of the program. The, the laboratory also becomes a physical manifestation of our aspiration for closer interaction and collaboration with industry. We expect to host a lot more interactive events, collaborative events with our uh, colleagues and our stakeholders in industry in the coming months and years. Financial services represent perhaps 20 percent of our economy now. So hopefully what our students will bring to industry and the impact they'll have is this broad skill set of engineering, systems, computer science and investments all wrapped up in one. That's a powerful skill set. Last year we graduated about 575 seniors here at Stevens and uh, Believe it or not, 25% uh, of them, a little bit more than that, were hired by financial services. It's our number two uh, hire, if you will, of uh, Stephen Seniors. You know, the, the financial services industry is very driven around technology and the objective uh, of, of the program and the laboratory is to provide the uh, specific application of the technology to what people's jobs are going to be when they ultimately get out. More so quantitative analysis or quantitative finance programs as well as the financial engineering programs deal primarily with the instrumentation of the, uh, of the, of, of the system itself. Uh, our approach is that the system, in fact, is much more complex and has many more dimensions uh, that need to be examined in order to prevent, for example, uh, a future catastrophe in financial systems. This lab is equipped to the level equal to any 
firm in the financial sector today that when students have been here for a couple of years and they've gone through multiple classes in this facility, they're going to go out, they're going to, uh, the, the, yeah, I know Bloomberg, I've used it, I've used it for three semesters, I know Thomson Reuters, I know all the different, the basic trading platform software, I've, I've executed these types of transactions. That's a, an incalculable advantage. This is not just providing uh, classroom education. This is providing the tools that are really used in the industry, in the financial services industry. There's a little smattering as I look around the laboratory. There's a smattering of a little bit of all the different technologies that are used on Wall Street so that when they hit the ground running, there's no on-the-job training that's going to be required. They'll have the, the technology set behind them so that they'll immediately go into industry and be productive. That's what we can deliver. and that's. And industry recognizes that. That's why they're recruiting so heavily here.